fine morning. Morning. The rationale behind the action that you're taking today? Yes, the reason for bringing this action is simple. It's about human rights. It's about the rights of the people of Barbados. I feel that as a citizen, uh, I have the right to be informed, not only informed, but to be asked a question. What is in my interest? What, what the people that served me are elected people that we gave our proxy to, to do our bidding. And we have now got a republic that we had no input into. We have a president that we had no input into. We have an election that was sprung upon us after going through COVID for two years and the only time that we're able to spend with our family is Christmas time. And right in the middle of the holidays and just before New Year's, we're told we're going to the poll. Worst of all, we are then told you have 21 days to do this. There are people out there scrambling to find food to put on their table in all of this pandemic. There are people with COVID, which is the, 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 the one particular issue that needs to be addressed. How come a plan could not be put in place? You have a government that has 29 members and uh, the 30th who sits on the opposite side of, of the parliament. And yet, of all of those, no one can stand up and say, this is wrong, I'm representing the people of Barbados. Let's take some of this pressure off and allow the people a reasonable amount of time to prepare for this election, to get themselves together and these are all of the, the, the rights that are being eroded. Why are we having an election when you have a full mandate, you have a full government, there's no way to put you out of parliament at this point for another 18 months. Why are we having an election in the middle of an emergency? It doesn't make sense. So that people go out there, like myself, campaigning, Mr. Granville, Mr. Thompson, and we are meeting people every day. We don't know who we come across. The problem with that is, folks, that I could come across someone with COVID and, and accidentally take it home into my own house, not only affecting myself, but my family. This is not right. These are the issues that I have a problem with. We filed, um, in fact, two applications. One is a claim for judicial review of the president's prerogative powers. As you know, we're now a republic, and this will be the first case involving the president of the Republic of Argentina. Um, and the second application we made was for an injunction saying that unless the issue of the um, barring of some at least 5% if not more of the electorate from voting in this election being disenfranchised, uh, unless that matter is resolved by close of business today, that um, the election tomorrow should be postponed uh, until such time that uh, those disenfranchised voters can be given the right to vote. Already, um, we have heard the, the Prime Minister, for instance, last night um, raising questions about the timing of this matter and the ulterior motives that, that could be behind it. Um, do you have ul ulterior motives? Political I pers motives? I personally have no uh, ulterior motives of any sort other than upholding human rights. The right to vote is a fundamental right. It's enshrined the international, uh, in the International Convention on Civil and Political Rights, Article 25. It's a fundamental right. We've been struggling uh, since the days of slavery to be in control of our own destiny. This is why we transition now to a republic. And one of the most fundamental parts of that process is being able to have a government of your choice. And the only way you can have a government of your choice is if you have a right to vote. I have no issue with Prime Minister uh, Ms. Motley. I voted for her and I said so quite openly in the last election. I campaigned for her. I spoke on the, um, a platform uh, on behalf of Mr. Trevor Prescott in the 2018 election and in fact as recently as Saturday gone I was out canvassing for Mr. Trevor Prescott who, who as you know is a BLP candidate uh, for St. Michael's East I believe.